friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and tonight is comfort food night. Uh, people have asked me, you know, just do some plain meals that, you know, that are easy. Well, I'm going to make a meal that's one of our favorites. It's called hamburger gravy over mashed potatoes, and it doesn't get much simpler than that. Here we have my skillet warming up, heating up with a little bit of sunflower oil on the bottom because my meat here is really, really lean. And we're just going to brown some ground meat. Let's turn that down a bit. And we're just going to cook this until it's all nice and brown and crumbly. We're going to add a little three-finger pinch of pink salt. And that's not the cure salt, that's the Utah mined pink salt. And some pepper. And I almost forgot. Where is my garlic? I'm not going to bother grinding my garlic, folks. I'm just going to take some of my home dehydrated garlic and just do that. Put that in there. And just stop being saucy. We have a diced onion, nice big onion in here. Angus, hush. So we are just going to, and I'm sorry, we haven't got the light up over the stove yet, so this may be, seem a little dim. So we're just going to let this brown on medium heat until it's all browned up. And over on the other side of the stove, we got a pot of potatoes on. While our hamburger's browning up and our bean, or our potatoes are coming to boil, I'm going to make another favorite. Green beans with mushrooms. Now normally I use canned mushrooms, but I have some dehydrated. So I'm just going to throw a small handful of dehydrated mushrooms in the bottom of that pot. And pour those beans right on top. And let the mushrooms soak up that nice tasty bean water. Alrighty, now what we're going to do is we've got about a cup of water here and about a quarter cup of flour and I'm just going to add this right into the water and it's got to be cold water. If you use hot water your flour will clump. I'm just going to shake it up in this jar that I got my beans from and I'm just going to pour that right in there. And then we're just going to bring this up to a simmer and all the juices from the ground beef and the onions and the garlic and the salt and the pepper and all them flavors. We're just going to let that cook into a gravy. Alrighty, now let's make our mashed potatoes. And again, I apologize for the light. We're soon going to get um, my light over the stove in. I'm going to put some butter in there, some fresh creamy goat's milk. And we are just going to start mashing our potatoes. My last job, my last part-time job I had was in a restaurant and one of my jobs was to mash the potatoes every day. And I said to my boss, why don't you use an electric mixer? And he said, because I've burnt through probably 10 electric mixers, but I've never burnt through one of these. Let's put a little bit more butter. This is a bigger batch than normal because I'm going to probably use the leftover mashed potatoes for something for tomorrow night. Then we whip them. And no, we don't whip them with an electric mixer either. We use a wooden spoon. Alright, we'll see you guys at the dinner table. You're not going to wait for me to dish it up? Um, could we, you know, I deliberately made extra potatoes so there'd be some left over for tomorrow, eh? There's lots. <laughs> Do, can I have room for the beans? Do you hungry, baby? I'm Do you want to dish me up a, just, just a bit of potatoes? Thank you. 
And here, for what we're about to receive, may we all be truly grateful. Amen. Amen. Do I need to have, can I have the meat separate actually from the potatoes? Bon appetit. Could you back me the butter though? in here, please. Please. Thank you. You're Much obliged. How is it, dear? Very good. Good. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, it may be hamburger gravy over mashed potatoes and beans, but sometimes that is just pure comfort food.